In this video, I'm going to be talking more in depth about our line, bar, and pie charts uh, template. Um, so let's get started. Um, so here I am in the line, bar, and pie charts template. I currently have, uh, let's click out there for a second. I currently have the um, a stacked column chart selected. Um, so the first thing to know is that this chart type settings block up here is where you change the type of um, chart. So because this chart can do so many different sort of types, there are a couple of different, um, uh, there, well, there are a bunch of different types uh, that you can choose from. So right now I'm here in stacked column chart, but I could also make this into a grouped column chart, which is pretty much the same. It's just the, there are individual bars instead of them stacked on top of each other. Um, I can also make it into a percentage one, which means that um, the template sort of reads each column by itself and then decides what percentage um, to give each of the sections. And then I can also uh, sort of do the same thing, but do it horizontally as a stacked bar or a grouped bar and whatnot. Um, I think it's important to sort of look a little bit more in depth about how this works because um, it's kind of important to know how the data is structured to be able to choose and get your data in the right way and choose the right um, chart type. So in this case, you can see each of these colors here is just one of these columns. And then each of these um, bars is a row. Um, and the same sort of goes uh, for when you choose a, ch a column type. They're just sort of rotated 90 degrees. Um, when it comes to line charts, which this um, template can also do, it takes each of the columns um, in the data and makes that one line. So if I wanted to get rid of line four, uh, this sort of pinky purple line, um, I would just get rid of the data in column four. Um, and there it's gone. Um, oops, get that back. Um, oops, God. Uh, there we go. So um, it's also worth pointing out that this chart can do pie charts as well. Um, unlike the line, column, and um, bar, options, the pie kind of works in a different way, which is that it uh, makes each of the rows, so in this case these were years that were along our x-axis, but now um, they're a segment in the pie chart. Um, so that kind of uh, changes the data structure a little bit um, for pie charts, but it's still pretty intuitive. Um, I'm going to go back to column stacked just to show you one more quick um, uh, feature, which is that this, these charts can all be made into grids of charts instead. So if I click grid of charts, um, it will make each of the columns here into a different mini chart. So we have 2009, 2017 in each of these. Um, and you can kind of change how this works by giving this charts grid uh, column setting a, um, a uh, column so I can change it to A, which will give me a chart for each of the entries in this column, so in this case, each of the years. Um, so that's uh, pretty useful when you're trying to make sort of uh, small multiples. But let's go back to this sort of normal view for now. Um, just because this is such a big template that does so many different things, there are a lot of different settings. And so I'm not going to be able to sort of explain all of them, but I'm going to give it a go to explain the ones that are sort of most useful and interesting and confusing. Um, so the main one that I can think of now is this uh, color chart colors, different color modes setting. So it's pretty unique to this template. Um, and I think it's semi confusing um, because it has two different modes and they uh, sometimes mean uh, visually mean different things when you're selected on different templates or different chart types. So in this case, um, you can color by column or by row. Um, so in th this case, we actually are coloring by column because this is actually coloring by the column of data, not the column in the actual chart. So it looks like we're col um, coloring by, by row, um, but we're actually coloring by column because this is the different columns in the data. If I click by row, each of these columns are going to become a different color. Um, this is uh, because, you know, now we're coloring by 2009, 2010, 2011, instead of column 1, 2, 3, 4. 
Um, this is really useful when you have a sort of a bar that you want to highlight. So I'm going to just make this a single column chart for now. Um, and say, for example, I wanted to highlight one of these columns. What I would do would be, there's a couple of different ways to do this. So you can either take your color template, your color palette and sort of, uh, delete most of the colors and then add other ones back. <laughs> um, so they're all the same except for one of them. Um, so now I'm highlighting this and the color palette is kind of showing this. You can also just do custom overrides. So if I wanted to do 2009 red, 2010 red, um, 2011 blue, I could do that as well. Um, but if I click back to by column, uh, this isn't going to work because we're coloring, um, this is one column and so it's all going to be the same color. Um, so that's why it's important to understand how these work. Um, and then it by column and by row um, corresponds to the data and not to what you're seeing here in the preview. Some other things, you can turn on the legend, you can turn off the legend. Um, oftentimes turning off the legend um, makes uh, the, um, makes it uh, more sort of clear. Um, there's this interesting add data colors to text option, which I will now show you. So um, basically what this does is automatically highlights color in the t header text if you have the name of a column um, in there. So if I wrote, um, this is the header for this chart with 2010 in it. Um, you can see the 2010 is now being highlighted by the um, uh, color that the column is, which is pretty cool. Um, and then I did 2011 is in it too. Now it's being highlighted by that color. Um, so this is some sort of a kind of legend that you can use as well. Um, you can add a filter. Um, there's a bunch, you can add data labels to each, um, to each a column or row or uh, depending on what chart you're using. Um, you can add annotations, um, which we have separate videos on that as well. Um, this is really a template that you can do a lot with. And um, I hope that this sort of explained some of the more confusing features um, for the LineBarPy template.